We have a jug, filled with water, with a hole in the bottom of the jug. The height of the water line from the hole at the bottom is 0.17 meters. If we were to pour water out of a graduated cylinder at the water line of the jug, which we will refer to as 0.1, how will the velocity of the graduated cylinder water compare to the velocity of the water coming out of the hole in the bottom of the jug, if we measure both velocities at the same height? We will refer to this point where the water is coming out of the jug as 0.2. We will be assuming a fluid with no friction or viscosity, so we can use the Bernoulli equation. The Bernoulli equation states that the pressure energy plus the potential energy plus the kinetic energy equals the total energy in the fluid. Being that energy is conserved, we can set the total energy, or Bernoulli equation, at point 0.1 equal to the Bernoulli equation at point 0.2. We first notice that the only pressure acting on the system is atmospheric pressure. Being that atmospheric pressure is on both sides of the equation, it gets cancelled out and removed from the equation. Next we assume at point 1, there is not much movement of the water, so relatively speaking, there is no kinetic energy, so kinetic energy equals zero. At point 2, we will be setting the height at zero, which makes the potential energy at point 2 zero, relatively speaking. We are left with the density times gravity times height 1 being equal to 1 half density times velocity squared, or in other words, potential energy at point 1 equals kinetic energy at point 2. So the potential energy at point 1 is transferred into kinetic energy at point 2. Next we notice that density is on both sides of the equation, so it can be cancelled out. Now we need to get velocity 2, which we are solving for by itself on one side of the equation. We first divide both sides by one half. Then we take the square root of both sides of the equation. We are left with the square root of two times gravity times the height at point one being equal to the velocity at point two. Plugging in all of our divins, we get a velocity at point two of 1.83 meters per second for both the graduated cylinder example and the jug filled with water example. This problem illustrates Torcelli's law. Torcelli's law states that the velocity of the water coming out of the bottom of the tank is equal to the velocity of the water if it were left to fall from the height of the water line of the tank. Stated another way, if you put holes in a tank and let liquid fall from another reservoir from the water line of the tank, the fluid coming out of the holes will have the same velocity, but possibly a different direction, as the fluid directly across from it falling from the water line. The velocity of water coming out of the holes, or falling out of the reservoir, is represented by the formula square root 2 times gravity times the vertical height from the water line to the center line of the hole, or water line to the point of interest on the stream, which is simply the projectile motion velocity equation for a free falling object. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.